Hi friends, I am Asmita. Welcome to my channel. Dr. Gwen Grenier is a physics professor and a mother of three. She's professor of physics at the University of Regina in Saskatchewan, Canada. She was the first ever female professor of physics at her university. She also identifies as LGBTQ and is passionate about equity. She is an experimental nuclear physicist and her research focuses on the study of rare isotopes, which are short-lived radioactive nuclei that are not found naturally on Earth. She was one of those kids who got straight A's in almost every class and even did extra homework just for fun. Ever since she can remember, she has always loved math and science. She had painful memories in her student life. Her every mistake or setback she experienced felt like a reflection on her entire identity. She was risking condemning an entire future cohort of trans people to being assumed to be too lazy or incompetent or too much work to be a good student, advisor, or scientist. She was almost kicked out of her program after her first prelim for reasons she still doesn't know. Fortunately, her advisor, who was primarily responsible for her growth as a doctoral student, believed in her. They made a simple agreement and moved on. When I was younger, I was made to feel like something was wrong with me. And even those closest to me tried to convince me that it wasn't real, that it was all in my head. They made me feel guilty and ashamed, encouraged me to keep quiet, and imposed cis, head expectations on me as a means to confuse, invalidate and strip away my identity. This is the definition of gaslighting. She said, I'm so grateful to some truly incredible women scientists who have supported and encouraged me. Without you, I would have no one. You know who you are and having accepted me without question or hesitation is something all cis people should aspire to. She continued, Nobody is born homophobic or transphobic. We learn it along the way. So we can unlearn it too. I have been yelled at in a public washroom. I have had a drink thrown in my face by a complete stranger while others watched and did nothing. I have been turned down for an apartment because the owner didn't want to rent to someone like me. I have been misgendered in public by friends and at work by colleagues. Someone once said to me that I don't count as a real woman. I have been dead named in front of a room full of people. I have had to fight to get my name put on my work so I can get credit for my own accomplishments. And every morning when I leave my house, I usually think about how I hope to return safely. I can never erase what was done to me or forget how people treated me in my past. But today I can celebrate me for being me and so many others for doing the same," she said on her page. With a lifetime of depression and trauma now behind me, I'm so grateful to be me. Transitioning literally saved my life. I now have self-confidence and am excited for my future. I'm a better parent, scientist, friend and person," she said.
guys for watching this video.